guys, good morning, Michelle here and welcome back to my channel. So today is gonna be another what I eat in a day on video keto. On video keto? Oh my god, on keto video. Battery's running out already. God, this is so fucking annoying. Okay, so I'm back. So today's video is going to be a pretty exciting video because I'm going to be doing a lot of recipes. So the first recipe that I'm gonna actually start with is my hibiscus lemonade. So I know I have a video on my hibiscus lemonade. Um, but I did kind of change the recipe just a little bit. Now it's just, it's not as many things. And I do use uh, different teas and ingredients. And this is probably going to be the easiest tea recipe ever. And it's literally life-changing. You can ask anyone who's tried it that it's, it's so, so good. Because I did find that in the beginning of my journey on keto that I was like, what do I drink? What do I drink? But I was all obviously like, okay, I can't be having Diet Coke all the time. And obviously to drink only water is really hard for me i love juices and sodas like that's just how i grew up and juices and sodas are just my shit so i was like how can i make something that i'm going to enjoy that i can stay away from soda still can drink my water and you know still have still fulfill the need of wanting juice so i use this right over here it's huge and I found this at Walmart. It was on sale for about like $3. And I use this because you're gonna need it. You're gonna need a big one. My mom thought it was crazy when she saw it in the fridge. But we would make a batch literally every other day because everyone in the house would drink it. And I'm the only person on keto and everyone was drinking this sugar-free hibiscus lemonade. So that's how good it is. So find yourself one of these. You can find these at Walmart. It's gonna come in handy because it's so good and you're gonna keep on making batches and it gets annoying to make batches. The lemonade that I use is Crystal Light Lemonade. This has been my favorite sugar-free lemonade. I used the packets from Walmart which were sugar-free lemonade as well but this one just tastes so much better and I know Crystal Light has a lot more flavors but yeah. And for the tea I'm going to be making a hibiscus lemonade. So I use this hibiscus tea and this is the box that i use this one over here this is what we're going to start with in the morning um it's 9 30 and it's my day off i can't believe that i wake up so early even on my days off i think i'm just so used to going to sleep early and waking up early that now even like i go to sleep like at 11 o'clock like i'm dead tired i could probably go to sleep like at 10 but i just don't let myself because it's so early so my fast doesn't end until 12 and i'm actually really not hungry at all but I decided to just start the day since I'm already up to show you guys how I make this lemonade because I have been getting a lot of questions on my lemonade and on my tea on my keto Instagram. If you guys don't follow it, it's Keto Gone Glam. If you guys make up your own little keto lemonade with crystal and different flavors, please tag me in them and let me know about them. I'd love to try because I'm getting kind of bored of this one. So maybe when I go to Walmart, I'll go and find like more flavors. But I feel like at Walmart, they have the same flavors. But I don't know. I'm blabbing. So let's get started. Let's see how I make this tea. So here I have my water and here I have my crystal light lemonade. I'm going to be using two of these since this is a whole gallon. You're definitely going to need two to get the flavor of lemonade. You can use one, but it just really depends on how strong you want your lemonade to be. So yeah, so this stuff on its own tastes exactly like lemonade from chipotle and i don't know about you guys but lemonade from chipotle just hits different crystal light lemonade tastes like chipotle lemonade if you know what i mean you know what i mean so now it's time to add the tea bags now in my previous recipe video i would literally brew the tea bags and let it kind of sit wait till it cools off and then add it to the lemonade now we don't do that anymore we don't have time for that so all i do is i take three tea bags and i just kind of lay them on there like so so what i do is i just put the tea bags right there kind of shake them a bit and then it already starts to kind of bleed out and what i like to do is just kind of leave it at that and put the top on it and leave it in the fridge for a little bit so it can kind of get its taste of hibiscus and i'm just going to put this in the fridge and then really it's completely up to you on how strong you want it to be now you can literally pass the tea bags a little bit and it'll taste a little hint of hibiscus or you could do like me where i just put it in the fridge and kind of let it marinate for a little bit so when i have the tea later it's a perfect hibiscus lemonade so yeah here is my lemonade i'm just going to kind of let it brew kind of marinate a little inside the fridge but look at this this is literally the size of my head so now I'm going to do another recipe of mine. You guys have been asking for this and really excited for this. And these are my two sauces. So this one over here is my garlic cilantro sauce. And this one is my sweet and spicy mayo. And these have been 
so delicious and so good on basically anything that I eat, especially the sweet and spicy. Oh my goodness, I can't even tell you. I literally put this on everything, on everything. And the garlic cilantro, like, garlic cilantro is a staple anywhere you go. Any restaurant you go and you see there's garlic cilantro sauce, you know for a fact. That's the first one you go to. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make it. I'm not gonna necessarily tell you measurements because I'm making it enough to put in these and I'm not really good at measuring. When it comes to these sauces, it's more on your taste buds on if, let's say, on the sweet and spicy, you like it more spicy or you like it more sweet or in the garlic cilantro if you want it more cilantro-y cilantro or more garlicky. I'm just gonna kinda show you how I do it and the things that I use so then you can make it at home kinda like how you like it to your own feel to your own taste so if you're expecting measurements it's not happening for me i'm gonna be so realistic with you guys but i am gonna show you what i use and how i make it we're just gonna get started i think i'm gonna get started with my sweet and spicy mayo because this one is my baby and it's so 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 good it's literally like gold in a tube okay so here are the ingredients that you are going to need for the sweet and spicy mayo super simple so i just have some chili garlic sauce some sriracha sauce and mayonnaise and this is the star of the show so this is smucker's sugar-free red raspberry preserves so this is the stuff that's going to make your sauce sweet so as you can see over here, these are the macros. So for one tablespoon, it's about, so it's five carbs and three fiber. So two carbs for one tablespoon. So as far as the sugar-free preserves, I usually use a tablespoon to two tablespoons and I find that to be enough. Again, I'm making this entire bottle and I only use like little bits of it. So I don't really measure it out, but this is the only thing that's really high in carb, but a tablespoon is about two. So two tablespoons is four net carbs and I think that's enough for this whole bottle is more than enough so over here this is what it looks like i'm just going to use my magic bullet or you can use another type of bullet or i also use a food processor too whatever works for you whatever you really have and i'm just gonna put that in and here is our first batch so this is my sweet and spicy mayo so if you want to make it sweeter you can add more of the sugar-free jam or preserves if you want it spicier you can just add more chili sauce and sriracha shake it up super good so now it's time to move to the garlic cilantro one now this one's a little trickier because it's more ingredients and i like to do the dry ingredients first and then the liquid ingredients this one you could just mix all together in the blender and that's it but this one this one takes takes a bit more time i don't know if i have all the ingredients yet but let's see okay so i don't have the main ingredient which is cilantro and not a lot of garlic so i have to go to walmart anyway to buy some things for my trip so i think i'm just going to run to walmart get the ingredients that we need and then when i come back i'll show you guys how to make the garlic cilantro sauce and probably what i'm gonna eat for breakfast but i'm still not hungry so yeah i'm gonna go to my favorite place in the world which is walmart and yeah okay so i am back from walmart and of course i got other things that I didn't really need, but like, kind of needed, you know what I mean? But yeah, what would be a video of mine without a haul from Walmart, Target, or Publix? I don't know, it just wouldn't be me, but this is what I got. So to start off, I got some goodies for EDC. So these are actually face gems, you guys. Look how much fucking face gems this is. Look at this. So I got two and they were $3 each and these are adhesive gemstones that you can like put on your face or anywhere really. And when it comes to like festival makeup, since EDC is three days, it's three completely different looks. And I always plan one thing, but then I end up doing something completely different. So just getting all these different colors and this just gives me variety to kind of do whatever I'm feeling that day. So I've got the rainbow and like this. And it also, usually I get like the packs where it's all like chunky in there and then I pick it up. But this just makes my life so much easier. And the rainbow one. And then I also got these adhesives as well in red silver and pink since one day i'm doing an all red kind of day i also got some glitter i do have i have the same exact glitter but the packets are open so i just wanted to get this just to kind of put in my bag so then i use over there in vegas and then when i'm done i can just throw it away and keep the ones that i have at home so this is going to stay closed until we're in vegas and also another important thing i got for vegas is these insoles these are double air form foam insoles and these are literally two dollars at walmart and you have to cut them out to your size and ladies viewer platforms like i do to fit 
to festivals or really for anything and you want to use insoles you really don't have to like well someone's calling me my man is calling me but he can wait i know insoles can be so expensive and then when you actually put them on they're really uncomfortable these are super comfortable they do look cheapy cheapy but they're good as fuck i promise but yeah they're two dollars and it's one pair so i got these for my new boots that i got for my new platforms my other platforms don't really need it as much um i have three platforms can you guys believe i'm wearing three different platforms each day i'm crazy i know but anything for the look you know what i mean you guys are gonna be shook but yeah so i was missing that and then for the boots that i got this for i got these pads for what is that word and the ball of your foot there you go so i got these for the ball of my feet since the the platforms that i'm wearing are a little higher than my other ones usually my platforms kind of go like this but these are like this so i know i'm going to be on my heels a lot so i got these five bucks at walmart so you can literally put it on your toe and then this on top of my socks and i should be gucci then i got some letters and some string to make some candy now i'm not this super huge candy kid anymore like i used to be back in the day in my rave days but i do still like to make some so i can have and trade with the people that i meet and then another festival too for me are these summer's eve's cleansing cloths these are the mini ones to go because porta potties are disgusting and especially if you're dancing around in little skimpy outfits you want to keep yourself fresh you cannot be smelling and i like to get the big box just because i like to share when we're out there having a good time and then I also got this to put in my car because since I work on the beach, it always smells like outside of my car. I got this Taco Bell seasoning to put in my ground beef. You guys know I love my ground beef and this is super, super delicious. It definitely makes a difference. And I got some Quest uh, chips. These are the nacho cheese ones. And I got these, again, this is all from Walmart. So I got these because we're getting Chipotle today. And I love to have these with my Chipotle bowl. I got the cilantro that I need to make the garlic cilantro sauce. That's why I went to Walmart in the first place. And then I got this hot dog chili sauce, which is delicious to put on your hot dogs to make homemade uh, keto homemade chili cheese dogs. Super delicious. And then I got some black bean and corn salsa. I know black beans or corn is not keto at all, but this is just mixed in in a salsa and it's about a carb for, per tablespoon, which I thought was not bad at all. Any other salsa really they have, even without black beans or corn, was just about the same macro. So I definitely want to give this a try. It looks absolutely delicious. And yeah, that's basically my little haul from Walmart. I definitely got things that I needed. And I'm really excited about all the things for the festival, I have a whole bunch of things to do, but now I'm gonna take this because it's time to make our garlic cilantro sauce. And this is what you're going to need for the garlic cilantro sauce. Again, you can do this to your taste buds however you want it. I have some cilantro, some green onion, garlic, um, some chopped chives, mayonnaise, tartar sauce, uh, salt and pepper, and some vinegar. Now, the tartar sauce is completely optional. I just love tartar, tartar sauce with my garlic cilantro sauce. I just feel it gives it like a really, really good taste. This is my own little feel to it. This is usually how people do it, but I like to add tartar sauce in mine. We are going to put all of our dry ingredients in first, and then we're gonna add the mayonnaise and tartar sauce. So first, what we're gonna do is put the cilantro, green onion, and garlic in here, and then mix it all up. Okay, so in here we have our green onion, our chopped chives, and cilantro. And in here, to make sure everything blends well, I'm just gonna add a little bit of avocado oil. Okay, so I ended up moving this to the food processor just because my little bullet was giving me a hard time. But for the greens, um, I'm just gonna put this here and then move back to the bullet once I add the cream and the cream I mean like mayonnaise and tartar sauce and all that stuff but in here I just have the greens that I showed you guys and I added a tablespoon of vinegar and the avocado oil is also in here as well okay so in there I just put the mayonnaise and tartar sauce and I did put a little bit of sour cream and salt and pepper and now I'm just gonna put this baby in here Do you see this? Do you see this? As I'm here filming my beautiful sauce, look what is here. Look what is here. Trash. Fuck you. Okay, so there you have it, guys. My two keto friendly favorite homemade sauces. This one came out so freaking good, guys. It came out so much better than my first batch. I'm literally having it with half of a low carb tortilla, like as a snack. It's so good. These two are just a vibe. 
to be honest if you do try these sauces definitely tag me in them or if you guys have your own homemade keto sauces that you like to make so i can try them out as well but yeah you guys asked for it and you got it and i'm so excited for you guys to try this if you try this at home these are so delicious and can add so much flavor to any basic or boring meal and i'm just gonna keep on having this with my uh tortilla because this shit fa mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh my god, this one came out so good today. Okay, so now for my first meal of the day, I'm making kind of like a breakfast cheese tostada. So in here, I'm making a cheese tostada. So in here, I made, um, I did a mix of the Zesty Ranch cheese from Taco Bell and the breakfast fiesta that I got also um, at Publix. I got both of these on Publix. They were actually on sale. So I tried them yesterday with a salad. They were really, really good. I melted it on top of chicken. So I would definitely buy again. I know they have other flavors as well. So I'm just making like a little cheese tostada thing here. And then here I'm just going to make some scrambled eggs that I'm going to put right on top. So here is my little cheese tostada. So I let it kind of harden a little bit. The trick when it comes to making like egg chalupas or egg, I mean, or cheese chalupas or any sort of like cheese shell is to let it set for a little bit so it can harden so i like mine to still be a little melted so mine has to sit a little longer so yeah there is our cheese tostada what i'm gonna do now is just add our egg and these are two scrambled eggs okay so here's the finished product so all i added was our two sauces that i just made today for you guys the sweet and spicy mayo and the garlic cilantro and then i added the tiniest bit of this black bean and corn salsa literally probably like a teaspoon like not even a tablespoon so freaking good this is the first time i make this by the way totally eyeballed i know i was supposed to get chipotle but plans change but look at this baby so 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 good and here is my last meal of the day i kept it pretty simple so basically i went for kind of like a cream spinach fondue type of night so over here i just have some boneless chicken breast that i just pan fried and i added some hooters wing sauce now i have always been a huge fan of hooters since i was a little girl and when i found this i actually found this at Publix they have it in mild and hot. I definitely picked it up and the macros are pretty pretty good So this is obviously definitely a dirty keto guys But it's 80 calories for two tablespoons and two tablespoons is one Carb like one net carb for two and one is enough. This stuff is really really like potent like With one is more than enough So I literally use about a tablespoon in my chicken and it tastes just like hooters wings like boneless wings it's so 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 good if you guys like wings and hooters as much as i do you should definitely pick this up and then over here i have my basic cream spinach what a surprise you guys know i can live off of my cream spinach so basically all i do with the cream spinach you guys is i put heavy cream and then i add mozzarella cheese until it thickens up into a sauce then i add the cream spinach add some salt and pepper yeah and that's it but yeah this is basically it for my last meal of the day you guys super delicious and simple it literally took me no more than 10 minutes to make okay guys so that's about it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it it's actually the day after because i was convinced that i finished the video yesterday and i did like um an outro but i didn't so here it is uh yeah if you guys like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos every single week next week is edc vegas and i will be vlogging the entire thing so be on the lookout for that and the preparation that comes before it i'll probably upload no i will upload before i leave to vegas so there will be a video uh before i leave if you guys want to follow more of my recipes and what i eat in a day follow me on instagram i have two instagram accounts i have a keto instagram which is keto gone glam and my regular instagram which is Alvarez makeup and um i think that's all i have to say i love you guys so much and i will see you on my next one Last time I bought you. Peace out. Okay.